Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today I would like to discuss with you a very interesting topic. Enhancing JetPicker uses experience. Here you can see uh, a calendar will appear here with some selecting date. Uh, it is not a calendar. It's a that date picker item. Looks like a calendar uh, with selected date. Based on that item, we are filtering our report. Uh, when select that the particular date uh, report will appear. So let's start for the practical session first create a blank space uh, here change the paste template option left sided column then create an items uh, to display the calendar uh, set its type date picker and in settings section set the display as inline and set a region set its slots to left side left column and uh, change the items slot to the calendar region use default no of that items and uncheck that some values create another uh, item hidden item here is the main task on the page label javascript global visual declaration this is the code to capture the dates of that particular month when you change the month or year the create another item to cap to fit to parse the listed date on the particular selected month of the year create a dynamic action on that item when add two two action first one is for execute javascript code to listed the selected date and the second one is the javascript code for uh, changing the background color of that particular date based on that uh, list of array date the sele uh, selected date will be change its background based on that css then here is the PL scale code you will get it in the description box submit the item 
and return item also set create another region to display the data based on the selected date or month I think you know it very well how to display the report based on the uh, item uh, main task is for the javascript global variable declaration uh, it's uh, captured the value of the month and year when it's changed and uh, then change its background or if the data is exist in the database mm -hmm. Here you look the changed. On change the month, it will be refreshed and the calendar will be changed its background if the data uh, exists on the database on that particular date. Uh, need to set the static ID of that uh, interactive grid report. That's why the report not refreshed earlier. In my case, it was uh, static ID is report. Yeah. report formatting not so complex task mm -hmm. just a change its heading and alignment I have shown a very beginning of many tutorials that's all if found helpful Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.